The artist Joseph Cornell lived and worked in New York City in the 1920s as a textile salesman. Before he actually became an artist, Cornell did not have any formal training in art. He did not feel that he was good at drawing, painting, or sculpting. As a matter of fact, Cornell didn't even want to be called an artist. He wanted to be known as a designer. As he lived and worked in New York City, he started a collection of things that interested him. He would go into junk shops looking for things that caught his eye. Cornell wanted to create things that related to our everyday lives, so he used everyday objects in his shadow boxes. Cornell's interest in surrealism showed up in his magical, dreamlike scenes. Let's see what Nanners thinks.